Hey everybody, Sharma32 here. Welcome to the channel. We're here today to react to the 11th episode of Season 3 of The Good Place. This one is entitled The Book of Dugs. Now, for once, I actually know what that's... I'm assuming I know what that's referring to because they picked up The Book of Dugs when they went from the accounting place and went to The Good Place. They are actually in the genuine Good Place and... Like they said that nobody got up there for I think over five hundred years, but there's loads of like the um information and bags just put around. So did is it deserted? Where's everybody gone? What's happened? Because there were like trolleys full of the bags of like post. I'm gonna say because I don't know exactly what they would have sent up there. But how long has that been there? Because if nobody's been to the good place, why would? I don't know, but um, we had a lot happen. There was, oh my God, is it Darcy? I always forget her name, the actress who plays Janet. She um she was phenomenal, loads for her. She got everybody's mannerisms really well done, especially GD and, but you know, she got them all. She was fantastic. And then of course, speaking of GD, we had the kiss because Eleanor started breaking down, freaking out, forgetting who she was. And he started saying stuff to talk her down about how who she is and what she's like and how good she's become and things like that and i think as he said that he realized oh shit those feelings are real they are actually mine not just somebody else's i'm i feel those and they kissed and it was a genuine kiss and now they've gone to the good place and i'm so excited to find out so we're going to get going if you enjoy this reaction don't forget to like comment subscribe give the notification bell a tick you'll know when the next episode goes live let's get going with the reaction in three two one let's go holy forking shirt oh, good uh, subtitles yes because i'm watching off dvd Are we sure so we're glad we got a recap good place it's rather or rather not yeah, I don't see any go-karts, much less go-karts being driven by monkeys wearing sunglasses and Hawaiian shirts. Wow, that's specific. Don't, yeah, don't challenge it. My favorite water park when I was a kid. Oh, mm. that's cute. Chlorine, suntan lotion, band-aids, and a thick cloud of teen hormones. So it must smell different for all of them, I guess. The good place smells like whatever makes you happiest. Oh, nice, like Eleanor. Warm pretzels. Or, oh, no, oh, nice. Wait. It's Eleanor. the smell of absolute moral truth. Those two things have very similar smells. I smell Fair Blake Bortles holding the Super Bowl MVP trophy. As Dan Patrick nice. says, this has to feel good, Blake. And he says, it sure does, Dan. <laughs> He's going very specific. Make sure that no one can follow us. Especially Janet. after they kiss. On it. Keep a low profile. <laughs> I did not expect that. Okay, That's if there's anyone oh. in the building, here's our cover story. I'm an accountant. Uh, you are a neutral, Janet. Nice. Really? 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 Okay, not that. I I'll come up with something better. Are we what sure you can? story at all. These are the good guys. Let's just come clean and yeah, rip Yeah, but it's still yeah, part of the system. Refugees. What kind of messed up place would turn away refugees? Fair point. Oh, hi there. Um, I'm, I'm an accountant. We're coming from accounting. Um, and as we were uh, climbing through the, the, the mailbox, it, it, it blew up. Uh, it, the explosion was caused by demons. We we're being chased by demons. And the Dracula. Oh, of course, Dracula, yes. You got to add a little bit on. Was there, though, Jason? Yeah. Maybe Drac blew up the mailbox with his bazooka. Oh, he's ruining it already. Well, geez, Louise, I'm sure glad you're OK. Aww. My name's Gwendolyn. Welcome to the good place. Hello. Also, not hello. It's nothing to meet you. Okay. And these four <laughs> here are humans, if you can believe it. If I could believe it. Watch <laughs> this. I believe it! <laughs> I like her. She's... Come on in. This is the correspondence center. Okay. Make um, at home. There's a sofa. She's a bit cheerful, but then again, if she's on her own, she's probably what, grateful for company. It's really weird that you guys won a contest to be in this building. Take that up with the folks at Weird Contest Magazine. <laughs> oh, she had to try. She said it's not going to open. Fine. How are they going to get out of here, though? <laughs> you got to be discreet. Okay, no follow-up questions. Hey there, smash it. I don't quite trust this. Grabbing any other throwing lamps, you have anything you uh -huh. want to talk about? I can't take 
this anymore, man. All the running and hiding and fighting. I get it. I can get it. Journey, and now all that stands between us and the actual good place is one door. I get it. She's allowed to freak out with this kind of thing. Four Oreos from heaven. I know. I know. I know. She's allowed to freak out. I don't blame her. I am right here with you. Oh, I love them together so much. Mm. <sighs> okay. The smell of the barf from the wave pool is really helping. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> I love the way he looks at her. It's so cute. Oh, sorry. You'd have to contact them directly, and that's definitely against the rules. I see. Contacting them at all is against the rules. Well, by calling them on that phone, but I can't let you use it. Right. And even if it weren't against the rules, I don't know the number, and you wouldn't tell me. <laughs> I couldn't. There are no numbers. You pick it up, and it connects you to whomever you want. Oh, nice. Is that a dog? Barking in another room? I doubt it because I don't have a dog, but out of politeness and an abundance of caution, I'll go check. <laughs> God, she would get on my nerves after a while. My name is Michael. I'm an accountant. I need to speak with the committee immediately on the top floor of the correspondence center. Thank you. Okay. Yes? You know how I <laughs> saw that thing about how Janet loves me? I don't know how I feel about her. And also, I feel bad that I sort of like read her diary and she doesn't know i get it i like that he's thinking about this start a dialogue about your feelings who knows if a relationship will take yeah place, but you must begin from a place of honesty i like that she's the one telling him this that's so sweet uh so do you remember how you killed us and brought us into your void i do yes when we were in there i was wandering around <laughs> oh because god you have the ability to make anything and i wanted to see where you keep the rollerblades and i accidentally saw that video thing about how you i love this that we're conf confronting this and talking about it you guys were in my void and it was exhausting and i almost blew up and i have to be neutral and neutral janets don't have feelings and she can't take this right now end of conversation can, can... end of conversation Oh, not now. Shot, buddy. Whoa. Whoa. And don't let Who's them it going to be? You. Oh, nice. I like that. I believe that the bad place has somehow infiltrated the accounting department and is tampering with the point system. My goodness. That would be a disaster. Okay, but this is good. There's not a kitchen, but I found this kind of glowing bowl with liquid. Okay, in. I'd be concerned about it. I'm going to throw this out. What are you doing? Try to pick a lot. But how can you do that? Right now, we're together in heaven, Aww. basically. And we're in love. Oh, I love that you said this. I guess try and enjoy this is a better plan than have the anxiety sweats. Oh, yeah. Go check it out straight through my sweatshirt. Hey, <laughs> I have an idea to take your mind off the door. Let's go on a date. <laughs> in this room? Nice. Why not have our first date? Oh, I love that he's saying this for her. It's very odd that no one has gotten into the good place for 500 years. It is very strange. The man has lived a uh -huh. selfless life, and he's not even close to getting in. The only explanation is that the bad place has somehow... Oh, the whole system's stuck. Every single bad place employee is a disgusting monster. Well, you know, some of them. You're not anymore. You're better than them. Committee. Michael, the accountant, has brought us evidence of a problem, and now it is up to us to find a solution. Okay, these people are a bit annoying, but I kind of like it. Great job, Michael. You are such a good speaker. This suit is very flattering. I thought I was going to be annoyed by this, but it, it's wonderful. Your jawline is extraordinary. You're a nice height. Your energy is electric. I feel like there's a catch. I can't help it. There's something really wrong. So, how did you meet? Was it through the contest? Tahani and I met in brain school, and then we got married because nothing mattered. And you're both so attractive. Are all humans as attractive as you two? <laughs> no. Oh, fantastic. Say, Jason, <laughs> can you help me get okay. more paper baskets from the other room? Let somebody else do it, because Jason will fuck it up. This is all my fault. I encouraged Jason to come clean about what we saw. You saw that too? Oh. <laughs> Jason knows oh, that Janet. Stinks to hear about how the two of you are married. This beige outfit really washes out my knot skin, and if I don't remain neutral in front of Gwendolyn, she's gonna know we. Oh, not. she's freaking out too. I love it though. I love that we're talking about all this. What if they come out my butt? Oh, honey. Oh, they're. All... I love this episode so much. Already, this is so cute. Whoa, how'd she find that? 
It was a gift. I feel kind of bad. What if it was for something really important? Gwendolyn, here's label. some champagne for you, for thanking me, for thanking you, for thanking me, for thanking you, for thanking me for the champagne you sent me. Pop that bench. <laughs> Pop that bench, I love that. <laughs> When my parents would go to a symposium and I would sneak into their office and read the unabridged dictionary. I For him, that is. I believe I'm attracted to you. You are. <laughs> you, anymore. you blew it when you admitted it to me. <laughs> They're so adorable. I love them. Not really, no. Because you're here with me on this side. <gasps> oh my God, that's so sweet. One more little surprise for you. What's that? Okay. Open them. Holy Fork. What do you think? What the hell? He's so cute. I assume it's because you're happy or horny. Is this a horny cry? No, I'm crying because I'm miserable and it's all your fault. Why, do you not like the outfit? I love the outfit. You look amazing and this sucks and I'm furious and I'm the happiest Why? I've ever been and I blame you. Oh, she's not used to feeling like this. She doesn't know how to handle it. In light of this new information, the time has come to take decisive action. Okay, okay, what are they going to do? I can't tell you how happy I am to hear you say that. We what are, are they going to say? An elite investigative team to get to the bottom of this. And nice, okay. And tracking the process. It'll take no more than 400 years. Sorry? 400? We are only giving ourselves 400 years to select the members of this elite team. To only select? I was thinking that we could do something now-ish, like right now. Michael, we have rules. We can't just do stuff. No. Upon formation, the team will then be in charge of organizing oh my a God. blue ribbon commission to investigate themselves, to make sure there's no conflicts of interest. And that will take 1,000 years. OK. This is fucking ridiculous. This is terrible. The bad guys are continuing to torture everyone who ends up in the bad place, which is Everyone! And that deeply concerns us. Well, act on it then! Hear, hear. Ooh, Callan, did you file a hear, hear memorandum? No. Sincerest apologies. I rescind my hear, hear and resign, effective immediately. Oh, dear Lord. This is awful. I made up a death did us part certificate, explaining that since Jason and I are dead, we are officially no longer fake married. I know Very it's not true. your main concern, but whatever part of you was vexed by our silly arrangement, you can now both relax. Oh, but I, do, I think he liked being married to her as well. That's fine. And it's a cool reminder of how I'm dead. Oh, forget it. <laughs> Never mind. Misfire. What's this? Rescinded. Cancelled. So you and I are married again? No, we're, we're not. Um... Oh, she's trying so hard. Everybody's freaking out so much. Oh, she's trying. Cry as long as you want. I love oh, him! Because my tears taste like the nacho cheese from my favorite movie theater. Ew, that would freak me really out. incentive to keep crying. <laughs> Relationships are stupid. I love them so much. I didn't get them at first, but I love them. There's uh, a quote I like by Tolstoy. There is only one time that is important. Now. It is the only time when we have any, any power. power. Oh, no, she cool. remembered An that! An unverified Tyra Banks account posted that meme on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so cute! Very attractive, occasionally very sweaty philosopher. Oh. You gotta try. Oh my god, they're so cute! I think it applies to relationships, too. Oh my god, I love them so much! Great! What? Oh! <laughs> Well, I don't want to assume. What if we both write down what we think you mean? What if we didn't? Oh, ah. In the good, well, in the good place-ish. Oh dear. How did it go? Is the committee going to help us? Yes. It is a bunch of ineffectual God knows how long. fleece vests. That's the wrong phrase to use, but you know what I mean. How much more evidence do they need? The bad place has to be tampering with the system. What if the system's screwed? Can I ask you an unrelated question? Absolutely not. The fate of all of humanity is at stake and time is running out. He's so concerned and I love that. Everything I do makes it worse. You know them better than anyone else. How do I just make them happy? How do you make Jason happy? You give him a lollipop shaped like a transformer. It's very true. But every time I do something nice, it backfires. There are so many unintended consequences to well-intentioned actions. It feels like a game. Oh, 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 what thought is he? There is another explanation. Unintended consequences. Oh, Tahani, 
You did it. Well, of course I did, darling. What did I do? Oh, <laughs> oh I've only been looking at one Doug. Oh, in I like that. In Douglas Weingar of Hawkehurst, England, gave his okay. grandmother roses for her birthday. He picked Aww. them himself, walked them over to her. She was happy. Boom, 145 points. What were the consequences of that, though? Doug Ewing of Skaggsville, Maryland, also gave his grandmother a dozen roses. But he lost four points because he ordered roses using a cell phone that was made in a sweatshop. The flowers were oh, grown with toxic... Oh, God! OK, so there's loads of consequences they don't realise. So the intentions are good, but all the other parts... Are... But it's not their fault. They don't know. A racist CEO who sends his female employees pictures of his genitals. Woo! And he's cheering... Yeah, just a bit. The bad place isn't tampering with points. They don't have to. Because every day the world gets a little more complicated. They need to update the system. It's impossible to be as good by those standards. Janet, I owe you an apology. I'm very sorry I meddled. Truly, I was only trying to help because I want you two to be happy. And because... And she does. Well, I love you. I really do. I love you both. Oh. Oh, no. I'm sorry. No, this is good. And the emotions aren't coming out of my butt. They're coming out of my eyes, which is somehow just as embarrassing. Nothing. Oh, she I'm is just... Crying. I don't know. I'm British. I, I, I... Oh, no, we cry. We cry. We cry. Making me cry. And also, it's less important, but the carpeting is really disgusting. Oh, oh this is awesome. <laughs> Why are you crying? I just like being a part of things. Oh, he is so adorable. Two humans and a neutral Janet crying? In the good place? I've never been suspicious of anyone, but I think that's about to change. Oak Fork. What's up, fart faces? Chidi and I just had sex in a closet. Well, Michael, sure. Have holds. you all been lying to me this whole time? That upsets me. I'm going to try to shake my fist at you. Oh, gosh darn it. I love her. I have to turn you into the no, judge. Don't no, no. I already did. Hey, Frogman. Oh, I love him. So this is a good place, huh? Hmm. I love how you're still using the mug. It's like frogs. Tight. No, not tight. The well, interdimensional I hole of pancakes is the most dangerous place in the universe. Then why well, shirt sure, balls. Save humanity. Great. It nice. It like a change real quick. Oh. Now you look good. Oh. I like him in it. Bye, guys. Nice to meet you. Now she's all on her own again. I can't, and she can't stop. Oh, I liked her. And oh, Chidi and Eleanor are just the sweetest thing. I can't believe I did. I was like, I just thought, okay, they're just soulmates because they're good friends. That's what I, I just thought they were going to be good friends. And that's how they become our actual soulmates. But, oh my God, I can't believe I did. I love them so much. I adore them so much. They're so cute. And oh my god, I love how Chidi is with her. He's so good. Like, he's so much like more decisive and he can say stuff more. Okay, so, yeah, he still struggles sometimes, but like, he's like so much more confident when it's concerning her and when it's making her feel better. And I, oh my god, I love them. And I get her freaking out completely. And one about being almost in the good place, three Oreos away. And then the fact that she's got somebody in love with her and she's afraid that it's going to disappear and just, oh my God, this show. Oh God, I love this forking show so much. That was an amazing episode again. That committee was bloody annoying. But we're going to IHOP to talk to the judge. But like, I had a feeling it was something else. The whole system's flawed because like, if the person has good intentions and they don't know about the bad stuff that comes from that, they don't know about it. Because, like, you can't know everything. No matter how hard you try, you can't know everything. That shouldn't matter because their intentions are good. They're not perfect. They don't know that the money from those roses went to somebody who sends his pit pictures of his junk to his employees. Oh. And ordered on a phone made in a sweatshop they don't know that it is flawed like things have got so much more complicated in the world that you can't use the same system from back in like um 
the dark ages or medieval times or stuff like that you can't use that same system now because the world has changed so much and i love the fact they're talking about that and i love the fact that um janet and uh tani and jason were all talking about things and tani is so sweet with J janet and the fact that she's trying to help them both and I, lo I loved what she said to Janet when they hugged and oh my god I oh that episode was so good this show is amazing I love this show so much it's so good and I would love to know what you guys thought of this episode oh, did you work out what Michael was going to do what was really wrong with the system before he did I would love to know if you enjoyed this reaction don't forget to like comment subscribe give the notification bell a tick you'll know when the next episode goes live thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you again for the next one bye bye